please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So, how about those Toronto Maple Leafs? Uh, game at home against a division rival who you are fighting for a playoff spot with in the Florida Panthers last night. And Toronto proceeds to blow a 3-1 to lead, lose the game 5-3, to and Leafs Nation went off after that game last night. Absolutely erupted. Um, Leafs Twitter... My hockey group chats, um, John from Hot Take Hockey, absolutely railing against the Leafs, and Cody Cece was at the center of a lot of the attention. I've <laughs> Leafs, Leafs Nation is just ripping into Cody Cece at this point, uh, and rightfully so. Cece is horrible, um, absolutely useless in his own end. He's a turnover machine. Um, he, he's a terrible player, and... <laughs> And I, you know, Leafs fans, I think, are really starting to, to see that and, and pick up on that. And this guy, I mean, t everywhere just got absolutely shredded by Maple Leafs fans last night. And um, it was pretty funny, honestly. Um, they just absolutely have, they're fed up with this team not being in a playoff spot. And they're fed up with the players that are holding this team back. And CC is absolutely one of those players. It's funny because CC with Morgan Riley out is the biggest cap hit on the Maple Leafs defense. Of all the Maple Leafs defensemen, CC is the highest paid with with Morgan Riley on IR. So that is a <laughs> that's a big oof because uh, he probably doesn't even belong in the lineup. So. After uh, last night's uh, trip through Twitter, group chats, Discord, everything, um, it was pretty funny seeing CC get absolutely destroyed, and, and he certainly deserves it. So uh, I decided that it would be a pretty fun video to look at five players that I think should be playing in Toronto's lineup ahead of Cody CC. So before we start the list, I just want to quickly remind everyone to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Both of those things really, really do help out a lot and are greatly appreciated. So we'll start with number one, uh, Timothy Lilligren. He's now playing for the Toronto Marlies in the AHL. He's 20 years old. He was a Maple Leafs first round pick in 2017. Um, and he's having a really, really nice year in the AHL. Uh, he's got 37 games played. He's got five goals, 24 assists for 29 points. He's only played one NHL game this year. Um, I think he deserves a shot. Call He's a right shot so he can replace CC directly in the lineup. Call him up and see how he looks. Uh, he's a looks like a good young defensive prospect. Um, you've already got Rasmus Sandin up. Put Lilligren up too. See what they look like. Um, I think... Lilligren would probably give you better minutes than Cody Cece is giving you right now and um, probably won't turn the puck over as much, so it would, it would probably be an upgrade. Number two, Ben Harper. So Ben Harper came to the Maple Leafs with Cody Cece in the Nikita Zaitsev deal. Um, honestly, I bet the Leafs and Leafs fans wish they still had Nikita Zaitsev instead of Cece in the lineup. Um, it, Harper came over in that deal, but he has spent the entire year down in the AHL. I mean, he played the last two seasons up in the NHL with Ottawa, and then he gets he's involved in that trade, gets sent to Toronto, and now he's been in the AHL for Toronto all year this year. Listen, he's 25 years old. He's not going to give you a lot of offense, but he's a big, rugged, tough defenseman, and and he you know Toronto's problem is defense, so. You know, maybe bring up a defensive defenseman like Ben Harper to play on the bottom pair. And he also adds toughness to your lineup that Toronto has zero of. Toronto is probably the softest team in the league. They're certainly in the top five for softest teams. They've got like two fights all year long. Harper would give you some of that grit and toughness that you don't have in the lineup. He's a defensive guy. He'd probably help you out in the defensive zone a little bit. You know he'll be physical. He's had a decent year down in the AHL with Toronto. Um, he's got one goal, 10 assists for 11 points, and again, he's not a big points guy, but he's plus 10 on the season in the AHL. Uh, give him a chance 
to come up, add some toughness and grit to that lineup, and, and maybe actually play some defense, which Toronto doesn't really seem all that interested in doing. Um, number three, literally anyone you could get in a trade for Cody CC. John from Hot Take Hockey had a fantastic rant last night that was absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna put a card. Um, I'm gonna put a card up here at the towards the end of the video if you want to go watch his his rant last night. It was so funny. Um, but, but he's saying trade CC this instant, get him off this damn team and trade him away. And I agree. And literally anyone Toronto would get back in a trade for Cody CC would be better than Cody CC. Um, honestly, like he's that bad. And, and, uh, you know, if they trade him now, I'm, I mean, who knows what they would get? Probably a bottom pair defenseman in return, maybe a draft pick who any anything they get in return for Cody CC is better than what they're getting from Cody CC. Um, number four, Dion Phaneuf, bring back the pylon. Um, honestly, Dion Phaneuf should come out of retirement and suit up one last time for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And he would, as bad as he is, and as big of a pylon as he is, and as much as I love to make fun of Dion Phaneuf, he would probably be a better addition to this lineup than Cody Ceci. Play him on the bottom pair. I know he's old as shit now. I know he hasn't played all season, um, and he, he got bought out of his last contract. But bring him back, suit him up one last time, and let him play on the bottom pair. And honestly, defensively, he's probably better than Cody Cece. Uh, is he captain material anymore? Absolutely not. Probably never was. But he certainly could probably give you some decent minutes on the bottom pair. If you only have to play him 14 or 15 minutes a night, let him hit some guys, dump the puck out of the zone. Um, maybe he won't have as many turnovers as CC does this season. And finally, number five, the, the uh, last, last one on the list here. This bag of pucks I have in a grocery bag, random pucks I found lying around my house. I would honestly play this bag of pucks instead of Cody CC. I would trade him for this bag of pucks. He honestly, these pucks would maybe allow the Maple Leafs to actually practice some defense, and that would be more valuable to them than having Cody CC in the lineup. So number five for sure I have is these bag of pucks, and we'll have an honorable mention here. The last one that I genuinely think would be a better, more valuable to the lineup addition than Cody CC. My tape ball from high school hockey. This is all my tape from high school hockey that I used to tape my shin guards with. Um, obviously, it's pretty big, about the size of my head. Um, worked on this for a long time. This would probably, you know, throw this out on the ice. It, Players would skate into it, and, and it would probably knock the puck off their sticks. It's pretty heavy. Probably would knock the pucks off the sticks. Definitely stronger on the stick than Cody CC is, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, play this instead of Cody CC. So, obviously, I'm, tr I'm having some fun with this um, and, and making a bit of a joke out of it. But in all seriousness, Cody CC might be the worst player in the NHL. There's been a lot of talk about that I've seen over the past, uh, you know, 12 hours or so. Um, there, there's a lot of talk about if Cody CC is the worst player in the NHL. He's absolutely horrible defensively. Um, tur turns the puck over almost every time he touches it. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but he's he's bad. And Leafs fans were absolutely shredding him last night, um, and it's well deserved. They they've. Their defense was supposed to be better this year, and it's not. It's not at all. All these moves they've made for, for defense just have not worked out, and they are really, really struggling. Now, with that loss to Florida knocked outside of a playoff spot once again, obviously it's still a very tight race. It's going to come down right to the end of the season, I think, but... Toronto shouldn't be in a, even a position where they're in a playoff race. Like they should be a team that is easily comfortably in a playoff spot and that's not the case this year and their defense is the reason why. They they they're they're not good defensively and Cody CC is kind of the brunt of all the jokes at the right now and uh you know he 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 does kind of deserve it. So with that like, comment, share, subscribe 
follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.